Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and in this video I am going to talk about 15 best air action features for S Pen. So let's start. The first feature is about camera air action. So if I press and hold this S Pen button, it will turn on the camera. So here you can see I will press and hold the S Pen button. Now the camera is turned on. Now for example, if I want to take a picture, again I will press this S Pen button one time like this and it will take the picture for me. The next thing is if you want to move to the video mode. So again press this S Pen button and move your S Pen like this in the air. So I will press my S Pen button and I move my S Pen like this. So here you can see the video mode is now turned on. Now if you want to record a video, again press this S Pen button. So I will press this S Pen button and now it will start the video recording. Now if I want to stop this video, again I will press this S Pen button. Now the video recording is stopped. The next thing is if you want to go to the more options, again press this S Pen button and then move your S Pen like this in the air and then it will turn on more options for you. You can also go back like this and then again you can move back to the photo mode. The next thing is if you want to switch to the rear camera again press this S Pen button and then just move your S Pen like this in the air. So I will show you. So I will just move it like this. So here you can see now it turn on the rear camera. Now if you want to take a picture, so I will press this S Pen button and then I can easily take my picture. The next thing is if you want to customize this air action, you can also do it. For example, instead of camera, you want to open another app, you can also do it. Just go to the settings and then scroll down and select advanced features. Once you go inside advanced features, here is the option for S Pen. So select S Pen and then from here you can select air actions. And here you see the very first option is about press and hold pen button. So currently it is set to camera. So you can select it from here and then here you have all other options. You can select any other app. For example, I select this create note option. Now if I press and hold my S Pen button, it will open the Samsung notes and here I can start taking my notes. The next feature is about screenshot air action. For example, you want to take a screenshot of this screen. So just press this S Pen button and do the shake action in the air like this. So I will show you. I will press my S Pen button and I will do this shake action. So here you can see it will take the screenshot for you. And now if you want to edit this screenshot, you can also edit it. If you want to crop it, you can also do the cropping. You can also share it and you can also save it. The next feature is about notes air actions. For example, I open Samsung notes and here I will start taking my notes. Now I want to highlight my handwriting. I will press this S Pen button. It will turn on the highlighter and then I can easily highlight my handwriting. Now for example, if I want to switch to my next favorite pen, again I will press this S Pen button one time like this and then it will switch to my next favorite pen and then I can start taking my notes. Again, if I want to switch to another favorite pen, again I will press this S Pen button one time like this. It will turn on the next favorite pen and here I can also use this pen for taking my notes. So how you can customize these favorite pens? Select this pen mode from here and then here you see this icon of favorite pen mode. So select this icon and then from here you can select this plus icon and then you can add your favorite pens, your highlighters, your brushes and you can also customize their thickness and colors as well. The next thing is you can also use your S Pen for undo and redo air actions. For example, I make this star shape and now I want to undo it. So again, I will press this S Pen button and I move my pen in the backward direction. So I will show you, I will press and hold my S Pen button and I move it like this. So here you can see it will undo it for me. Now for example, if you want to redo it, again press this S Pen button and move your pen in the forward direction. So I will just do it. 
I will just press it and I will move it in forward direction. So here you can see it will redo it for me. So this is how you can use your S Pen for air actions inside Samsung Notes. The next feature is about PowerPoint air actions. For example, I will open my PowerPoint slides and then from here I select present. Now for example, if I want to move to the next slide, I will press my S Pen button one time like this and then it will move to the next slide. And then again, if I press my S Pen button, it will move to the next slide. Now if you want to go back to the previous slide, you have to press this S Pen button two times. So I will press it two times like this so here you can see it will go back to the previous slide now if I want to go back to the first slide again I will press it like this and then it will move to the first slide the next feature is about media air actions for example I open this video and now I want to pause this video so I will press my S Pen button one time like this so here you can see the video is now paused now for example if I want to play it again again I will press this pen button one time like this and then it will play this video now the next thing is you can also increase the volume of this video by just pressing this S Pen button two times so I will press it two times like this so here you can see the volume is now increasing so here you can see if I press it again the volume start increasing the next feature is about gallery air actions for example I open my gallery and then from here I open this image now I want to move to the next image so I will press this S Pen button one time so I will press it one time like this it will move to the next image again if I press this S Pen button here you can see it will move to the next image now for example if I want to go back to the previous image I will press this S Pen button two times so I will press it two times like this here you can see it will go back to the previous image and then for example I will press it again so here you can see it will move to the first image you can also use the air gesture for example if you press your S Pen button and move your pen in this direction it will move to the next image so here you can see if I press it like this it will move to the next image now for example if I want to go back to the previous image I can use this backward air gesture so I will just press my S Pen button and then I will move my S Pen like this and it will move back to the previous image. The next feature is about voice recording air actions. For example, I open my voice recorder and now I want to record a lecture or I want to record my voice. I will press this S Pen button one time like this and then it will start recording. So here you can see the voice recording is now started. Now for example, I want to pause this voice recording. Again, I will press my S Pen button one time like this. So here you can see the voice recording is now paused. Now if I want to start recording again, again I will press this S Pen button one time like this. So the recording started again. The next feature is about Samsung internet browser air actions. For example, I open my internet browser and I open this page. Now I want to go back to the previous page. So I will press my S Pen button one time like this. So here you can see it will go back to the previous page. Now again, if I press it one time like this, here you can see it will go back to the first page. Now for example, if I want to move forward, so I will press this S Pen button two times. So I will press it two times like this here you can see it will go back to the next page and again if I press it two times like this it will go back to the next page. The next feature is about stopwatch air actions. For example, I open this clock app and then from here I select stopwatch. Now I want to start this watch. So I will press my S Pen button one time like this and then it will start this watch. Now for example, I want to mark a lap. Again, I will press this S Pen button one time like this. So here you can see it will mark lap for me. Again, for example, if I want to mark another lap, so I will just press it one time like this. So here you can see here we have this second lap. So this is how you can use this air action for your stopwatch. 
The next feature is about Microsoft OneNote Air Actions. For example, I open Microsoft OneNote and now I want to open a sticky note. I will press my S Pen button one time like this. It will open this sticky note and here I can start taking my notes. The next thing is you can also use your S Pen Air action for scanning a document. For example, I open this handwritten note and here I can start taking my notes. Now I want to scan a document and I want to insert it here in this note. So I will press my S Pen button two times like this. It will open the camera and now I can capture any document. For example, I have this document. So I want to capture it. So I will press this button like this and then here I will select this option of confirm. So once you select this confirm option, then it will ask you if you want to crop it, rotate it, or you can do any editing. You can do it from here, then select done. Once you select done, here you can see the same scanned document is now available in my notes. The next feature is about sketchbook air actions. For example, I open this sketchbook app and now you can use your S Pen to make different sketches. Now, for example, you want to open a color wheel. So you can press your S Pen button two times. So I will press it two times like this. It will open this color wheel and then from here you can make your color selection and then you can use it in your sketchbook. The next feature is about S Pen to unlock. For example, your phone is locked. Now, if you want to unlock it, you just have to press your S Pen button one time like this. It will unlock the phone and it will also bypass the security. So how to enable this feature? First of all, go to settings and then scroll down, select advanced features. Once you go advanced features, here you see this option of S Pen. So select S Pen and then once you go inside S Pen, you have to scroll down and here you see this option of more S Pen settings. So select this option and here you see the very first option is about S Pen to unlock. If it is disabled, you can enable it from here. But you also have to follow these instructions to make it work perfectly fine. The next feature is about Air Actions customization. So go to settings and then scroll down and then from here you see this option of advanced features. So select advanced features and then from here you see this option of S Pen. So select S Pen. Once you go inside S Pen, the very first option is about Air Actions. So you have to select it from here. The next thing is if it is disabled, you have to enable it from here. Then you have to scroll down and you can see the first option is about press and hold pen button. As I already mentioned it, if you want to customize it, just select it from here and then you can select any app from here. Now I will go back and then the next thing is about air gesture. So here you can see we have different air gestures available. So here you can see the very first air gesture is about smart select. So for example, if I press my pen button and I move my pen like this, it will open the smart select. I can select any part of my screen and then I can use this tool. But if you want, you can also customize this air gesture. So select this air gesture and then from here you can select any app. For example, I select pen up. Now if I do this air gesture like this, it will open the pen up app for me. So this is how you can customize these air gestures. Now I will go back from here and then here you can see we have other air gestures as well. So you can customize all of these air gestures. Now if you scroll down, the next thing is about app actions. So here we have different apps and then if you select them, it will show you all the air actions related to that specific app. You can also customize it. For example, if I go back and then from here I will select Samsung Notes. So here you can see the single press currently set to next favorite pen. But if you want to change it, you can select this option from here and then it will give you different different options. For example, I select this zoom in option. Now, for example, I open Samsung Notes. 
now if i press my s pen button it will do this zoom in action for me if i press it again so here you can see it will do this zoom in action for me now i can go back from here and then i will go back to my air action customization so here you can do all your air action customization now the next thing is about general app action so here you can see for camera the single press is set to take picture but if you want to customize it you can select this take picture option and here it is giving you the option of do nothing and take picture so you can select any of these options the next thing is about media so here you can see if you want to customize the media air actions you can do it from here so single press currently set to play and pause if I select it from here, so it will open this list. You can select any other option from here. For example, for single press, you can select play next. Now, if you press your S Pen button one time, it will play the next video. So this is how you can do all your air actions customization. So guys, this is for today's video. Please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.